Okay, Coach Seats, coming at you back with another video. Today, this one's here for Sam Thor. Uh, he left me a little cress on YouTube, a little comment to do this about six months ago. So, it's about time I give you this video for uh, game day prep. Let's go. For me, game day prep really starts as soon as you finish your game the week before. Starting with your warm down, your stretching, and just your recovery, rehydration, all that. But if you take it from there, you got your training through the week. So, you know, really preparing well, going to training, doing everything you got to do through the week to get ready for your game. But let's bring it up to the 24 hours before your game. Now, number one would have to be hydration. I've heard a lot of stories from the boys at 20s that they're training the night before the game and if they're not pissing clear, like they make them go do piss tests, and if their piss isn't clear the night before, they're not leaving training till they're drinking up water and they're gone pissing and the water is clear. <laughs> so yeah, number one, hydration. I mean, your muscles, they got to be soaked, they got to be full just so they're not cramping up. So water, Gatorade, all that. Number two, would have to be sleep the night before. Get a good rest. Don't get on the piss the night before. Just get a good rest, 10, eight hours, whatever it is. Go to bed early, wake up normally. You know, you don't wanna wake up way too early, way too late, just have a good rest. Thirdly, let's talk about food. So I'm gonna do a video on food in general, but the night before, you want to not, you want to avoid heavy, meaty sort of, you know, your beef, your, your lamb and pork and that, like avoid that because that really sits in your gut and your body actually takes a lot of energy to break down these like heavy meats. So, you know, chicken and fish is all good. Um, it's even an idea to avoid that as well. The night before is not too bad, but yeah, just, just take it easy on your food. Still eat, still fill yourself up. Um, as for carbo loading, you don't really need to do that because your game only goes for 80 minutes. Carbo loading only sort of comes into play after two hours, three hours, like marathon runners and that. So just eat normally, you know. Um, I'll do a video on nutrition and food so you can see what I mean by normally. All right, so you've woken up the morning of. You know what? I, I like to just take it easy and try not to think too much about the game. So sort of do what you normally do on a weekend, whatever it is, play PlayStation, not anything too physical, go for a surf, maybe go for a little swim, um, whatever you do on a home, just take it easy, try not to think about the game too much, try to eat a bit early, eat your normal breakfast, as I said, nothing too heavy, just normal, a lot of salad, nuts, you know, like anything that's going to be good for your fruits, um, keep the water up. Now, you want to be organised. You want to be organized. You want to know where you're playing. You want to know what time you're supposed to be there. A lot of teams like to get down early and support the lower grades. Get there, do that. Get around the boys, girls, whatever. Uh, just get a feel for the ground. If it's not your home ground, go down there, walk around the ground a little bit. Just get a feel for it. Now, me personally, I like to have a shower before I go down. Just get fresh, get ready. Make sure I'm all, my, I'm all set, my bag's packed. I've got everything I need, you know. Um, and I'm just organized, like I'm not, I'm not running out of time. I know where I'm going. You know, all this will sort of play into you, into your game because you're just in there, you're in your head right before you, before you got to play. Number one, water, water, water. Like keep, keep hydrating all day. Make sure all the way up to your game. Keep hydrating. Two, make sure you're eating well. I take a little, little snack with me, some, some, whatever it is, something easy, just a bit of fruit. Try to avoid those lollies. You know, lollies go around the sheds. I try to avoid them. You have your sugar, you have your sugar rush, but then you have your sugar dip. So that's not too good. Uh, you know, replace that with fats, nuts, peanut butter, a little bit of you know, a little bit of bread and that. Like that's not too bad. And then lastly, it's just mental. How you prepare. Like some guys can actually get into that good mental state really quick. Like they'll be stuffing around, joking around, and then get in the sheds listen to their music, whatever, and bang, like they can just lock in. Whatever it takes for you, 
you know, it might take a while to really sort that out, but some people meditate, some people listen to the music. Yeah, do whatever you gotta do just to get you in that zone to really go hard and, and just play real well.